let's have a look at the user experience from you know I'm running a Windows 8 um, desktop here um, for my sins and um, you know essentially what I would do is I would launch uh, a web browser and I would connect to the page for my VDI landing um, area and this can be completely customized so it doesn't have to look like this it can be changed to to represent you know your your establishments uh, you know, brand and, and look and feel, and users will be given a login as as per you you need them to see it. So when I log in, um, I get the the landing page for my VDI launchpad. So in this case, you know, as a user, I've only been given a, a single corporate Windows 7 image. Um, I could easily have you know more images available here, a Linux desktop, for instance, or another version of a Windows image. Um, but you know, so so what I'd have is a list down this sort of left-hand side, and I would start to launch from that list as necessary. And I can launch multiple desktops side by side. Um, but in this case, I have a Windows 7 corporate image, and I just hit the play button. And what's that, what what that's going to do is it's going to load my image signed to me. Um, it's been cached locally on the server that I've been directed to um, because I've logged into the master and the master has then decided when I've launched this session which server has the least load, which server will provide me the fastest desktop experience and it's sending me there and, and that image is being loaded now. My user data is being attached and my app layer is being laid in and I get my desktop and away I go. So I start to work um, as a typical BDI user. Um, of course, authentication has passed through, um, so the user has this, you know, from their perspective, it's sort of, you know, one username password to log in, um, and away they go. We do have integration with single sign-on solutions, which I know are a, a big part of many establishments in the educational sector, um, you know, and, you know, we've tested with a number of them. So if you've got any specific requirements in your environment, um, then that's something we'd like to talk to you about and give you our experiences and, and assistance in getting you set up. But, you know, in terms of performance, it's pretty much what you'd expect from the VDI perspective. Um, you know, very responsive, very, very usable as a, from a user perspective. I've got a whole set of apps here in the background that, that I've been assigned to me as a user within, within my organization. If another user logged in, they could have the same Windows 7 image, but a completely separate set of apps and settings applied to them. Um, so essentially, this is really the desktop environment, and, and I know it's it's nothing new to to a lot of you, um, but as you can see, everything is sort of fairly, um, you know, it's almost a fairly native experience from a user perspective. But one of the key things is this desktop following the user anywhere they go. We get this request a lot. So you know, I'm a user. I have a, a, a you know a VDI session. What if I just decide to you know to to go home and continue working from where I left off? Um, then you know that's 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 a big use case, and a lot of users want that ability to have a desktop access to their their corporate environment or their, their 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 faculty environment anywhere they go. So in this case, you know, all I'll do is just um, if I can get rid of that little WebEx file, which I will in a second, is I'll just kill my. Well, I won't I won't disconnect the session. And what I'll do is I'll just close I'll just close that window. All right. So this could be quite simply me shutting my shutting my laptop lid down. Um, and leaving my desktop. And what I want to show you is um, an iPad uh, connecting to the same VDI environment. And this, you know, I want to simulate here is that I've got on a, you know, I've gone to a coffee shop or, you know, I've gone home and I've basically, uh, I want to continue from where I left off. So I've got a little app which is going to share my iPad. And you should see in a second. Uh, the, my little iPad screen pop up on the window. Um, so that's my iPad. Um, what you're seeing is what I'm doing live on that right now in my hand. Um, and I've already set up uh, the connection to my VDI cluster, and I've literally just launched it from my iPad um, as a user would. Um, and here's my environment. And as you can see, it's exactly as it was where I left off, exactly the same uh, web browser in the background um, and, you know, msn.co.com. Um, and the notepad has all the text that I previously left it on. This could be a Word document. It could, it could be an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and as you can see, if I bring up the keyboard, you know, um, you know it is pretty much, uh, you know, again, a very, a very fast, high-performance experience. And this is from an iPad um, to a server cluster, which is actually um, back in Austin. So this is another test. We have a great with these little mini keyboards. 
But uh, pretty much, that, that's exactly what we expect. And I could work away here at home or in the coffee shop over lunch or in a meeting um, on my iPads. Um, and then quite simply, my iPad session could, could disappear or I could just shut my iPad down or close the lid because we don't really shut these things down anymore. And then I would go back to you know my desk and I would relaunch my RDP session. And what we're doing is we're just grabbing uh, the point from which the user is authenticating and bringing them back into their VDI session that's hosted on the server that they were initially assigned to. Um, and everything would be exactly as I, I'd left it um, when I sort of left that coffee shop or the, the lunch hall, for instance. Um, and that is pretty much what the users see, and that's that's what their experience is. Um, and, and, you know, I'd like to summarize the key benefits of the product and the solution approach and, and how that maps into the educational environment.